it's Emma and Steve from Show Homes Online. Today, we're here to take a look at the St Modwin Homes development, Hilton Valley, situated in the village of Hilton in Derbyshire. We're here to see the impressive five bedroom Keen show home with an integral garage and brick render frontage. It certainly has a presence. Let's go and take a look. Welcome to the Keen. Yes. Say so modern homes at Hilton Valley yes. in Derbyshire. Lovely house type, five bedrooms. It is a five bedroom. Yes. Treat. I think previously yes. I did say there was um it, there was just four bedrooms on here, but there are five, which is really good. So that gives you a really good range of house types on yes. here. To my right here is the door into the integral garage. Yes, and it is to plan actually from what I'm looking at. So yes, we have a garage the other side of this wall. We've got a good hallway here as well. We have. You've got the RCD box there on the right hand side, nice yeah, and easy to get absolutely. to. Absolutely. Right, let's go through into the lounge first of all there. Living room. Oh, some beautiful photographs. Wow, this is lovely, isn't it? So the very typical St Modern's big window there to the front. Let me look for some dimensions. Living room, five meters seven by three meters six. Yeah. Thereabouts. So I'm just looking over on the sign there. It says um, that higher than average ceilings and larger windows. That's the St Modern way. Definitely. A fact. That's yes. actually consistent on all St Modern houses. Really gorgeous photography actually on the walls in here. Lovely. Very spacious lounge, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very nice. Double doors here through into the uh, kitchen and dining room, which is always very nice. But they've got two reasonably sized sofas actually in here and a, a large piece of furniture there. And they fit in amply, don't they? Yeah. So plenty of room in this lounge. So we're at the back of the house and we've got family, dining and kitchen in this space. So your family and dining area, that's where we are at the moment, that's 3 metres 8 by 5 metres 5. And then we have separate dimensions for the kitchen. So in this area then, this is what they've styled as the family area, but you could have a dining table yeah. at this end if you wanted. Very flexible space. You've got a window there. And you know there is a hurricane blowing outside, but if you listen, you you can barely hear yeah. it. It just gives you uh, what the insulation's yeah, like in these properties, isn't it? Yeah. So dining table there in front of the French door set, which take you out to the rear garden. are three meters three by three meters four so you have this sort of breakfast bar area at this end with lots of doors for me to open so plenty of cupboard space there underneath this section there's a lot of cupboards in there a lot of cupboard yeah. space yeah one and a half bowl sink there with a window so you can look outside that's your integrated dishwasher Cupboards keep coming. More and more yeah. cupboards, yes. You've got eyeline cupboards, which are lovely. Like soft clothes in as well, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. Bank of drawers here underneath your gas hob. Um, and it's a six ring gas hob there, six burners. So lovely drawers. And then some more eyeline cupboards. I don't think I've seen so many cupboards in the house. That's pretty You've good. got this little bank here with oven and grill. Zanussi appliances there. More cupboards above and below. This is your fridge freezer. There yeah, you go. Got a big one. And again, then you've got more cupboards at that side. So you have a utility area through there, so it gives you a little bit of extra space for your appliances. You've got a sink in there. Yeah, so it looks like you've got you've got space there for a tumble dryer and Yeah, you've got two separate spaces. Washing machine. Yeah. 
So this is your boiler. It's tucked away in here. You've got a door there to the uh, rear garden and to the side of the house. I mean, people use utilities for lots of different things, don't they? I've seen some utilities where people have their toaster and appliances out there, as well as yeah. laundry. So they don't really have to mess up yeah. the... So yeah. that the sides are nice and clear in the well, kitchen. Well, that's if you want to show house kitchen all the time. Absolutely. You don't need that clutter, Everybody do Everybody lives you? in a different way, don't they? Yeah. But it gives you the option. That is a well-stocked kitchen. Cupboards. Very nice indeed. Now then, we have some doors here. So we're back into the hallway here. So you've got a little area there, which is really nice. Alcoves, just for a, yeah, yeah, just for a light or little unit. So this is your downstairs cloakroom. It's a nice little corner sink, isn't it? It is. And then we're back to the garage, to the garage through there. That's Quite nice yeah. to be able to get to the garage from the house. Okay. We've oh, got a yeah, well, upstairs cupboard there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice that sometimes you don't see that, and that's yeah. like refreshing to see it. It is. So you haven't got to go outside if you need to get. Some I like the fact the stored. RCD box is here because normally they are right up the top, aren't they? And at least if you were disabled, you could get to that well, really they, I easily. I think they do have to be yeah. accessible, don't yeah. they? Now, yeah. so that you can look at things quite easily. I still see some though. They were up that high. Yeah. Anyway. Let's head upstairs. Okay, first floor then. Yeah. Right. I think we'll start this way. So we have a door. Oh, now that's your cylinder. Okay, yeah. so that has a cupboard all of its own. So at the front here, we've got bedroom two. So you're above the garage here. Jack and Jill bathroom for okay. bedroom two and bedroom three. So we have ooh, a very big cupboard, wardrobe there, all built in, plenty of space there. Right, dimensions for bedroom two are three metres four by two metres seven. So through into this, it is an ensuite, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. is an ensuite. It is. A window, it's got a window to the side there. Yeah. So the dimensions for this room are two meters one, again by two meters one. So you've got a really substantial shower cubicle yeah. there, haven't you? Yeah. Very spacious. And it's got its own little window there as well. And then that brings us straight through into bedroom three on the other side. So we're now at the back of the house above the kitchen. So dimensions for bedroom three are three metres four by three metres one. We'll just have a little look down into the garden. You can see you get a really good sized garden, even some of the plots across the road, very good sized gardens. Very, very nicely styled. Good sized double bedrooms, aren't they? Plenty yeah. of room to get around the bed for additional furniture. You've got rooms for chests of drawers, etc. Okay, next door you've got bedroom five, which they dressed as a kind of office, study, come day bed, occasional guest bed. Dimensions for bedroom five are three meters seven by two meters three. It's still a really good yeah. sized bedroom actually, isn't it? This is the smallest of the five, isn't it? Okay, got a 
door to open here. Oh, it's just a cupboard. That can easily be converted into an airing cupboard airing for towels cupboard, yeah, and sheets. Yeah, for shelves. Plenty of room in there. Right, at the rear then, again, we've got bedroom four. So you're actually above the family area of the kitchen. So bedroom four is two metres nine by three metres two. Plenty of room here for additional furniture, such Absolutely. as a wardrobe, etc. Yeah, she could fit that. wardrobes in easily. Okay, so next door we've got the main bathroom then on this level. Uh, the dimensions are 2 metres 7 by 2 metres 3. So you have a bath and an amazing separate shower. Yeah. Really good size shower cubicle there. It's Tarry. very nice to have both. Tarry will be on the back. And then last but not least, we've got the master bedroom. It's got the best window of all. Oh yeah. Wow. So, bedroom one. I'll give you an idea of how windy it is <laughs> today. Look, you can see the it flags. It really is hurricane weather. Yeah, it is actually a hurricane yeah. today. So we've got three meters eight by three meters six in here. Um, you've got built-in wardrobes, which actually go quite far back either side of the doors. So you've got more yeah. storage than you than it looks like from the outside, because the wardrobe actually comes back to sort of here. Plenty of room at the sides of the bed. I just love these big windows. I like the the low sill on the window, so you just maximise the light. Yeah. I just think they're fabulous. But this bedroom has got an ensuite. So I've got the lights on for you. There you go. So bedroom one, ensuite, one metre four by two metres four. So it has got a window, which is always great in a bathroom. Big shower cubicle, toilet and pedestal sink there. Well, I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Doesn't feel like we've done five bedrooms, does it? No, it actually it's 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 pretty good. It's a substantial house. Yeah. Um yes, the keen. The keen. It is it's a really attractive looking house as well, I think. Yes. Yeah. Some of those windows, look at them. Anyway. And you get an extra ensuite in this house. Yes. You get the one that's shared between bedroom two and bedroom three, which is I don't is know why they do do that more often, really. Yeah, I you think know. it's a good idea. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. The Keen is a beautiful house mm. and um, you can see the Keen on a lot of different St Modwin Homes developments. Yeah. Um, the best place to have a look is on the St Modwin Homes website where you'll be able to see where, where they're being built. But there's nothing better than coming and seeing this house type in person. Yeah, and I will put all of these details, the dimensions and all the spec details in the description box down below. So please take a look down there. And there'll also be a link to the St Modwin's website. So take a little look at that but if you found this video helpful or interesting please give us a thumbs up uh, and we will catch you on our next video thanks for watching